But yes, the entire commercial or, or what you would consider banking system is established by people that look like us. It's just we didn't charge interest, which is where a lot of the Christian countries ran afoul with the Moorish Empire. When you charge interest, that's referred to as usury. And anything based in usury is a sin. It's a double charge. You already, you know what I'm saying, done. But whatever the debt is, is the debt. Anything on top of the debt, which in vulgar terms is called the vigorous, the vigorous or the vig. Any vig on the bet is basically extra. That then creates slavery for the individual. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dad. Joshua said, yeah, do it from Cash App. Dad, yes. That's based on them trying to strive and get the software for their fed now. Carbon copy of Cash App. Only thing with them as the third party. That's the problem. And um, they want to make it where the now thing becomes the go to through for everybody's transactions. So anything you send between two parties got to be intercepted by them. To me, that's step. I don't know how any government or the people are allowing this to happen based upon what's going on, but they're going to cite the fact they got to do something based upon. What's happening with the dollar around the world? Everybody's stepping away from that shit. That shit don't have nothing to do with your still your individual liberty and freedom as individual Americans. However, the people are starting to realize that the government is not only corrupt, but it's weaponized against who it decides it's going to mess with. And right now, the only protected class is the trans humans who can go and shoot up and kill women and children, allegedly, if that even really happened the way they said it, it did. allegedly, nine children dead and all of that. And um, the shooter be seen as the victim because they are a woman who believed it was a man. Again, shooting up a Christian school. They were, She wouldn't go and shoot up no Muslim school, though. I bet you that. I bet you that. You know what I'm saying? So that's happening. Um, now I come to find out it's another tech dude that helped Merck this dude. So that's that's CIA right there. That's, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's CIA involved right there. So whatever they want to say, they can say, but it don't change the reality of, you know, what's actually happening. So that went down. They're trying to get that straight because at the same time, Hollywood um, is all under the microscope because they being, um, what do you call it? They being, um, basically everybody, everybody in Hollywood is basically indicted. That's what you just understand. That. Everybody in Hollywood is under some sort of indictment, some sort of quiet joint walk around with. Um, walk around with some sort of ankle bracelet. This is what's going on. Because through people like Proz from the Fuji's, he set in motion a situation where um, he got all of his peoples to back um, this guy named Lo who financed um, his Proz's, that is um, relationship with him that leveraged them to be able to uh, do the whole Wolf of Wall Street shit and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Then on top of that, um, he was able to link him up with people like Jamie Foxx and all types of other people to spread that money around when niggas was getting caught. Kim Kardashian got a, a garbage bag full of once in the sum of $350,000 um, just off of once, you know what I'm saying? once because this dude is just is just lording out bread like that long story short um 
it didn't go well because come to find out this dude Lo was a Chinese dissident, I a spy. So he now um was on the run where the Chinese is looking for him too, because he, he was selling secrets back and forth to both parties, both the United States and um you know China. And so he was playing both sides against the middle. So that's a problem for them. You understand? Because this dude basically spread so much bread around at a time when Hollywood was going through it that they realized that it was pretty much a, a, a risk. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so if you notice, a lot of tech companies and tech billionaires and these niggas is getting killed off and dying because a lot of them were just the the faces, you see what I'm saying, of these CIA shadow companies that were set up basically to inflate the so-called tech market to get the tech people to get involved in transhumanist ideologies and things like that to further erode the moral fiber so that way they can set up a personal a systematic dragnet around the internet and everybody else. So this is what all of this leading to and how all of these things is done. So a lot of the distraction shit, like Trump trying to get arrested, like you understand, um, that really is not even a real thing that they can really push forward like that. Like, put it like this, he could go to jail, he could get found guilty, which I don't even think they could get that far. That's why they're going after Clarence Thomas. You see what I'm saying? Everything with these niggas is a uh, uh, ah. You know what I'm saying? So because they in with Clarence, um, they trying to go after him because he know that that's his linchpin in the court. So this way they could freak it, you know what I mean? But they're not gonna really do it like that because he really didn't do nothing wrong. But they into Trump and shit up now and they're doing it in the realm of the people. So why do people think this is all just to stop him from the ele being president? Yes, that's true. But they can't really stop that. You understand what I'm saying? They can't stop that again, I should say. Because then the country's going full with anarchy and it would be against their position. So they got it. This is their last ditch effort to prop up the transhumans, prop up the Satanists, prop up all of that on the worldwide thing. Because on the world stage, the United States is over. So it's going to have to split from America. You understand? They're going to have to make a split because everybody's turning against them because nothing is real. So they got to use, though, remember, the original people are the only ones that haven't been paid out for anything, really, right? And that's because they, everybody has been making money off of their debts and the excess proportion of their land, their ignorance, whatever that is, but not just here. Like, wherever people that, like, look like us are at, this is what they're dealing with, you understand? So you have mass exoduses of people bouncing and a lot of people now because of this Hollywood thing, like I said, probably looking at like 50 years. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, to bargain that, he's going to bargain all of that other shit down. So that means it's going to be all these things, Usher, everybody, you understand? So this is a big thing because this was, it was also connected to the FTX shit, which is, uh, why Shaq and a lot of these niggas is on the run, allegedly. So to do that, they always need the black people. See what I'm saying? The original people who are their puppets, who descend from the death cults and the sex cults and the old European monarchies that, that uh, married themselves in and acted as overseers within the general populace. So that's where these type of niggas come. There's nobody more crooked than a black uh, female and black male politician. You know what I'm saying? There's nobody more crooked than them because they're in it specifically for the interference to become that third party, even though they want to act like that. And because 90% of them be, be Democrat, they're specifically brainwashed to the idea of the institutional racism that cannot be quantified as institutional if there are parameters set up within the institution to stop it from happening. So that means 
when you say institutional, you're really talking about the the organized statutory structure of whatever policy is being instituted by these talking heads. You understand? You're not talking about the whole institution as it stands. Because let's say we get rid of all of those people that's in office right now, and then we put people that's like us in there. You understand? And then we start doing what we're supposed to be doing, uh, administrating, turning shit around, whatever that is going to be a section of the populace is going to be against that. So in a, re in a democracy, right, if a group of those type of people get back to power, they can then go in and reverse everything and mess everything up again. You know? That's the difference between a, re a, a democracy, right, and a republic. Because in a republic, everything has to be voted on by the merit right, of the delegation and the people electing whatever situation is going down. Everything that they're doing legislatively is all happening under the guise of something else. So it's always subterfuge. It's never correct. It's always a lie. Nothing they do is really helping. Everything, even when they give people money and things like that, they're not doing that to help them. They're doing the same thing that China would be doing to places like Zimbabwe and these other places. They're creating a debt trap for them, right? So because they're devalued, right? They're devalued. Their governmental structure is devalued around the world due to its hypocrisy. So what they want to now do is try to get us to believe that we're devalued, that our say in everything is devalued. So they got to come in and create a whole new structure of money for us to put our shit in, right? And leave it up to them to decide what money is good and what money is that. That's, that cannot stand. Yet, in order to make that stand, they got to throw these idiots in front of our face to make it seem like this is the bigger issue when it's not. The Restrict Act is the issue. You see what I'm saying? Where they're trying to put all of this bullshit through the, uh, to control the technosphere and all of that under the guise of trying to get rid of TikTok. So to combat that, the individual states have banned TikTok in their individual situation, which then takes the teeth out of the whole act on a nationwide situation. See? power going back to the original states. That's what you want. You don't want a centralization. Look at what the Federal Reserve has done. How is that, ever, since its inception, how has it helped the United States? It hasn't. All it's done is foster a false idea of supremacy of the dollar that was only backed by the ransoming of the entire generation of what they call from World War I to, excuse me, from World War II to uh, the time that Nixon took everybody off the, the gold standard. So Letitia James, corrupt. Alvin Bragg, corrupt. You understand? Know corrupt. What, black, white, whatever. These niggas is boule corrupt niggas, just like the, the corrupt black niggas in, in, in Georgia and all the other states that these, these uh, insane uh, demonized Democrats and uniparty people, because that's the, that's what's really at the top of the shit too, is the uniparty, which is all of these niggas together. So imagine a whole a whole show where everybody you see in both sides of it are puppets, and the people that's above them holding the strings are the ones doing it. That's that. That's how they was able to bring these two niggas out of nowhere, right? And then have them speaking in the old style to invoke these feelings of the original civil rights movements and shit. These niggas struggle for, you know what I'm saying, to let you know that they going down for the struggle that lasted like a day. <laughs> like two days, these niggas was out of a job. Next day, they put you through. But because of Kaepernick and shit like that, they're able to get away with this type of crap. And so they get this nigga to come in, putting up the black fist, talking about the people's house and talking about, you know, the, the democracy and this, this, that. Whenever they use words like democracy, that's when you know. Whether they're Republican or Democrat, independent, whatever. When they start talking about pro-democracy situation, you know what the fix is in. That's, that's the bullshit. That's the commie shit. Democracy is what allows different political parties in the main system. So you could be a communist in a capitalist society, but you cannot be a capitalist in a communist society. You understand? You cannot. And the only way that the United States can become a communist society is if they swindle the people or hoodwink the people into voting for it. But I don't think that's going to happen. If they're not even going to accept it. You know what I'm saying? 
the new Star Wars? Why would they accept a whole new government form of money? Why would people want to do that? And in fact, they really don't even got to do that. All they got to do is nationalize everything that they already have, right? And then put themselves back on the gold standard themselves. And then create a, in a modicum of, of security by reinvesting in the infrastructure of the actual country. But they don't want to do that. They want to destroy it. These are the people that are here to destroy it. These are the faces of white supremacy today. Like real talk, like like what what power do I mean? Yeah, white males and all of that have right, but the people that's enforcing all of that, these are the niggas enforcing it. These are the niggas participating in it. Do you know they're about to erect a a law school in in, in Benjamin Crump's name? <laughs> what? What? Name one case that Benjamin Crump done one since he took over from Sharpton. Do you know what? No, because they don't exist, because that never happened, because that nigga's not a real lawyer. That nigga's a, a Freemason, like the rest of them. Like, what are they talking about? So again, under the old Hoover Doctrine, because all of this type of shit is run through the FBI, remember? So this is all to create the Black Messiah for you to follow. These niggas, they want to make it like these are the people that's going to lead us into liberation. These niggas right here. By integrating us back into a system by which we are nothing more than the commodities we make. You know what I'm saying? Like, that don't make sense. But look at where they got the black community. They won't let you move forward. They won't let you go into the future. Without you accepting some marginalized idea of your identity from the past. Look what they're doing with this freak They're about to make these grandmothers and great-grandmothers have heart attacks. They thought they shit was straight, right? Because this was pre-internet. Look at what's happening. I've seen people have sent me clips of women crying, breaking down. Like, yo, I just I, some of us are Congress people, some of us are lawyers and doctors, and what? <laughs> so it goes to show you who they have actually running the country. It's 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 people who are really just regular people and who made mistakes and who did certain shit. But based on those situations, those are not always the people outside of whatever situation was in that you would want to be handling your sensitive situations, right? But no, those are all of the people that did that. What you think? All of these freaks, all of these prostitutes, you think all of these strippers was, was, is, um, was on welfare and didn't have nothing together and didn't have no money and shit like that? Like, what? No. You think all of these people on the street that made money and shit like that or whatever, all of them stayed criminals and all that, none of them were legit, none of them went into other situations, glad that there wasn't no internet. Now, look, they done it. And there was no internet, so where they getting this footage from? You know where they getting it from? There was no phones. You didn't even have camera on your phones back then. You know where all of this footage is coming from? Hard copies, videotape. You hear what I'm telling you? Videotape. So ask yourself this: Where, when the last time you seen a VCR? Where's all the VCRs they got now to convert all of these videotapes? Anybody got an idea on that? How they did all that when basically all the videos when the last when the last time you've seen a videotape let's let's start there when the last time you've seen one you probably got a bunch of them shit in your crib right now ain't got no vcr to watch man one somewhere in the basement in a box somewhere got a bunch of shit right now on file on video right now in your crib you, you don't even know Yeah, but remember the big push to force you to, to move into that? Remember? At one point, you couldn't imagine everything on a disc. All the videotaping we used to do, all the videos I used to tape from, from video music box and all the, in the box and all that shit. Wow. 
know where else is coming from. Because remember, a lot of that was put on tape, and a lot of that tape, and a lot of that tape was digitized over the years. A lot of them tapes, you don't know, was actually came from break charge cases and shit like that. But they had to subpoena the, the videos and all that. Like this shit is not just coming from nowhere. And you got to think about it. Remember, this is the, Atlanta was the predetermined place to wrap black people up in the box. Prior to, okay, when you was real little, those of us that's coming from that era, we was real little, you remember the Atlanta child murder shit. They put it all in that one black man. And they was finding all of the little black boys with the tips of their penises and shit cut off. They were taking the interferon out of the, out of the foreskin and using it for genetic purposes and ritual purposes and shit like that, right? After that, right, that put a bad, a black eye in the lip. You had a lot of people that left, a lot of land artists, people, people was I can tell people they wasn't even from there. So they didn't have their own scene. So they had to find a way to invest themselves in that situation. Because remember, that was also the head of the Confederacy. Okay? Real black history. So these niggas that you see right here, they are all products of this program I'm talking, I'm about to tell you about. So all of that them people got together and then, like I said, from that Atlanta thing, that became the hotbed base that they would project to bring black people in. So they had to start bringing black people there. So they started, uh, you know, because ancestrally it had been run by what some people in the underground used to refer to as the the, the Atlanta Mafia. And that was uh, King and Abbott and the rest of the niggas and all that. And allegedly they used to uh, have all types of, you know, power based upon the fact that they could engage, ingratiate the money from the corporations and stuff that they would boycott and shit. They would be able to get that money on the back end and then use that to fund the other busing movements and shit like that. That's where the hustle started. You understand? But there was people like Vernon Johns and these type of people that was already out there, really out there for the rights of the people to help them restore the republic. So they couldn't have that, so they had to get them type of things out of there. So that's where they got Michael who was ingratiated and employed under the tutelage of uh, people like uh, Stephen Levinson, who was a devout communist, right? Who's a devout communist. And remember the communists themselves, right? They're all being run by CIA too, right? The Marxist, communist, revolutionist, and all that shit, all that shit got taken over by CIA. Right? They take over all that stuff. And then reinsert it. Because at the time that America was at the top, they had a surplus on worldwide control. So when you run in the world, you got worldwide control. Why are you worrying about how are you going to hold on to that control? How are you going to maintain dominion, right? When Russia and these other countries that you are in gay, that you basically kind of like shunned after World War II, that actually took most of the battle, took most of the, the fighting and most of the things that died and shit, it, the Russians took the biggest hit on that. And then the United States acted like, you know, well, that's what y'all wanted to do. And then from there, instead of paying back certain instances and you know, they weasel their way out of paying shit. And then and thus in that basically led to what became the Cold War because essentially they needed an enemy. They needed Russia to be the enemy so that way they could do their thing and have a reason to justify the increasing the increasing the uh the increasing nature of the the war. The, the uh, uh, military industrial complex. So again, Rothschild, this Rothschild here, organized uh, by uh, Epstein's pops, right? Who was also one of the chief propagandists who wrote the little red book for your boy Mao Zedong, who went to, who was a student and dean at Yale but the Yale in China. How many people knew that there was a Yale University in China? 
I mean, I knew that. So when people say, oh, I went to Yale, you automatically think, what? You think Yale, Massachusetts, right? Well, no. <laughs> no, that's where the squares go. The real baby eaters and blood drinkers, they go to the Yale in China. You know what I'm saying? Like your boy here, and eventually you might wind up, you go there, and from there, maybe go to Occidental University. Right there after that, you probably could run a country. They'll put you, you know what I'm saying? They put you in play, prop you up, give you a little bankroll, and have you just, you know, go into some country. Um, You don't even have to be of the nationality of people that you're going to be the leader of. They just, they just put you there. They just figure out a way to get you in there. And then the next thing you know, you Castro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like that. It's that easy. And I'm showing you. And you know how many people? Everybody upset at Stalin. Yes, Stalin put in numbers. He, he upped the brown 35 million. That's a, that's a lot of people to get rid of in the tenure of your despotic rank, right? But nobody put in numbers on Mao Zedong. Mao Zedong was, was up there in the he was scoring like 75 million, 50 to 75 million. 50 document, but they saying it's even that. And then, then if you take all the Mao disciples, all the niggas that he influenced, that the CIA paid to groom under him, niggas like the niggas that ran the Khmer Rouge, right? The niggas in the, in the killing fields. Go watch the movie, The Killing Fields, right? When they were still making real movies about shit. And... Them niggas, the Khmer Rouge, them niggas was just, it's like, come on, man. This is ungodly. You know what I'm saying? So all these niggas, all of these people are corrupt. They all down with it. And CIA, like I said, that runs it to the point Chuck Schumer the other day was telling niggas, like, if you told Trump, if you mess with us and this, this, and that, you're going to uh, uh, tangle with the CIA and you don't gonna want that. They were supposed to be disbanded after Kennedy. After what they did. With the help of the mob. And look what they did to the mob after the mob helped them kill him. Look how they did them. Yeah, the sickle cell, that was the, one of the traits that they would look for because that was one of the so-called pharaonic traits. You understand? So that dude, Rothschild, he talking about is directly under this dude, this Rothschild, that's his father. Because Epstein was a Rothschild. Y'all know that. Delane Maxwell is a Rothschild. Allegedly, the brother faked the death and then went through a transition came back as Maria Abramovich. That's allegedly Jelani Maxwell brother. He's now a girl. They be making up all types of wild shit. Remember they came up with the story that um, the other rock child got ate by the cannibals? And then they say that that guy, Michael Rothschild, they said Michael Rothschild got ate by cannibals of Papua New Guinea or something. And allegedly, that's really because um, they swapped him out to be Tom Hanks. Who knows? I'm just telling you what the theories and shit are. Yeah, but they look for the sickle cell trait and all of that because that's a part of the pharaonic thing. And that shows that there was somebody in your family or somebody in the family that gave up genetics towards them in terms of their upgrade. So that means that genetically then there's some sort of connection, recess connection with them and you, even though you may not be recessive in that way. Like there's different forms of recession. Now, yes, I've seen the Jamie Dimon connection with Epstein, but there's another connection with Epstein that's even crazy, okay? That's this, that's this shit right here. Okay, so in the Bible, Right? They talk about how when the angels fell and all of that, they fell into that and then broke away. 
and um they couldn't you know they could no longer be in their original forms and shit and so they was disincorporated so these disincorporated entities exist right but they exist in a non-corporeal form so what would happen was people would use ritual blood as a, as a spiritual lubricant, shit like that, sex, things like that, to initiate connection or 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 uh, conversation with these entities, right? So that then got misinterpreted and put into the dead, in which people believed that they were speaking to the dead, right? And the dead was giving them certain knowledge of the other world, of the present world, right? But the problem with that is the dead don't know nothing. The dead can't know nothing because they're dead. And I don't mean dead like, okay, just physically dead. I mean that they don't exist in the capacity to accept knowledge the way you and I do now because the part of them that accepts that knowledge no longer exists. That's the brain. You understand? The brain is what processes the things between the mind. The brain is the middleman between the mind and the soul and the body. So if the brain don't function, that means information cannot be relayed to the antennas that search out and bring the information to the forefront that you are able to administer, right? So therefore, there, there's no way to process the information. How would the dead who no longer exist in the corporeal form be able to give you information about the corporeal world when they no longer with when they are no longer organically plugged into the third density to give you that information. Islam, you understand what I'm saying? Now, as I say that, I'm not saying that people aren't receiving information. See? Question is who they getting it from, right? But look, this is what the Bible says. The Bible, I'm losing the Bible because the prophet said in the end days, more is going to be the Bible. Like I'm using it, so certain shit, things within the Bible that allows you to see correlations. You see, that's meant for us to do the knowledge. So in that is this. So it says when God speaks, right? Okay, so when we talk about Allah, right, we're more, so we can speak with a multi-dimensional aspect. We speaking to our law, speaking of our law. We're speaking of the one true God, right? That's the title of our law. Therefore, we're speaking of our law in the sense of a monotheistic understanding, right? Yeah, what's interesting about Lady Gaga is that Gaga is the original name of Pluto. So when you say Gaga, you really saying Pluto or Plutonia, which explains a lot about her. So Within that, as Allah is the only true God, or the one true God, right, as they refer to it as, right? Now, this is eternal life that they know that you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Right? So in Judaism, in Judaism, it's Elah. In Christianity, it's Allah, which is Aramaic. Of course. Stone. Get some more. Islam is Allah, and then in Islam is Allah, right? So we're talking about the arm, leg, leg, arm, head when we get into the science of it. And when we get into the science of that, we're really talking about the elements that make up the known reality that we refer to that. So in that, there's a guy named Atkins who basically made the made the comparison parallel that carbon, right, 
is that aspect of Allah that exists or the aspect of God or is the intrinsic aspect of the God particle that manifests, right? So he said, for this reason, Atkins determines carbon the king of the periodic kingdom. Certainly without the vast inventory of complex molecules with utterly diverse chemical properties gifted to us via the unique properties of this king atoms, okay, we're talking about melanin as carbon, there would be no organic plentitude to satisfy the complex metabolic, metabolic needs of the cell. In all probability, there would be no chemical right in the universe right, if not for carbon itself. Atkins goes on, goes so far as to say that the property we term life stems almost in its entirety from the region of the periodic table or kingdom. Think the periodic table as a kingdom, carbon now as the king of that, containing carbon. Therefore, carbon, memory, all of that, melanin, same thing. Joshua said in the circle segment when it's talking about John, John mom's death, it says we should not call those who have died because they got work they doing on the other side. Yes, paraphrase it, yes. Whereas the Bible says, behold, in this you are not right. I will answer you, for God is greater than you. Why do you contend against him, saying he will answer none of man's words? For God speaks in one way and in two, though man does not perceive it. See, that's the little voice. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls on men, when they slumber in their beds, so when you sleeping, right, is when you're able to commune or speak to whatever you perceive Allah or the ancestors of God or whatever that is. In your waking now, if you're doing that with a Ouija, with a this, with a that, you're not really talking to Allah. You're talking to what you believe this thing is. And because these things are, remember, demons, this is how crazy, this is how deep this is. Okay, now when you used to, when you say demon, right, or he on demon time, or he's he's a demonic, right? What do you think? What do you think we talk about when they say that? Yes, the lower self, definitely. But what else? Definitely the lower self, but what else? Anybody else? Yes, for most intents and purposes, we were taught that demons are the lower self. They are, or they can be slower vibration. Um, yes, 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 we think of what we've been programmed to think of them, right, which are what, which are duality, because you got a whole substrata in the black community that We have a whole substrata in the so-called black community that are taught that demons are evil and demons are the devil and all of this and that. Okay. Okay. Remember, I told you that when these things fell, like we just watched the Pope's Exorcist, right? And in that movie, Russell Crowe is playing the Pope's Exorcist, who happens across the possession of this little boy and his his moms and his sister and trying to free them up because they happen to be possessed over a, a abattoir. For those people who don't know what an abattoir is, it's a 
an underground cavern that's made out of like the bones and shit of people that sacrificed him. And basically, it alluded to the fact that in 1475, the Pope that set up the first papal bull, who was Dumb Diverses, or what we call the Dumb Diverses, was actually possessed by the devil. And everything that the Vatican Church and everything did from that point on, from the Inquisition to the fall of the Moors and all of that, was basically them uh, uh, manifesting the devil's work, which basically proves what we've been saying, right? So when he spoke of the demonic possession or the demon possession, we're trained to think of it from the exorcist perspective, externalizing the demon. But in order for him to beat it, he had to accept the demon into himself. Right? Now, this is what a demon, that's what a demon was. What a demon is today, right? That's why if you notice, I always spell it D-A-E-M-O-N. When I go use the word on the Facebook post or whatever, whatever you want to spell it like that. That's because a demon is a multitasking computer operating system. A demon is a computer program that runs as a background process rather than being under a direct control of an interactive user. You understand? Now, I just told you that a lot will talk to you through your coach stuff and all that, the way that they be saying it. He speaks to you through the visions, through the dreams, things like that. Right? In multitasking computer operating systems, a demon, right, is a computer program that runs as a background process rather than being under the direct control of an interactive user. Traditionally, the process names of a demon end with the letter D, right? For clarification, that the process is in fact a demon and for the differentiation, differentiate the differentiation between a demon and a normal computer program. For example, S-Y-S-L-O-G-D is a demon that implements system logging facility. And SSHD, D, right, is a demon that serves incoming SSH connections. Microsoft's new AI chatbot has been saying some crazy unhinged things. What they are doing with these AIs, right, is they are, they know that from the last flood, yes, this is what they, this is really what they talk about when they on demon time, because the demon is talking to them through the computer program, which runs through the what? The phone, which is what? The black mirror, right? <coughs> or the smart TV, <coughs> right? Or the metaverse, or whatever they calling it, whatever. But it's an actual demon, or demons. But what are demons? Fallen, extra-dimensional entities that cannot take corporeal form without being transliterated or transfigured. That's what you do with computers, right? You transfigure the computer 
to adopt what? To adopt this. This right here is called the spelling of reveal. This was in its original category when it was stolen from Kemi and placed in the British Museum. It allegedly was under the original designation 666. And when Alistair Crowley saw this thing, he said that he fell into a lucid experience, a lucid dream in which he spoke to the grand priest of Raha Kuit. Raha Kuit is this guy right here in throne. The messenger or the person that Crowley allegedly met was the high priest of Raha Kuit, who was seen here in the leopard skin. His name is Iwas. So essentially, we saw the original man in this outer realm and either the extra dimensional aspect of that, right, which he referred to as Rahul Q, which is really Heru with a red disc above his head in throne. Usually you say, you see Heru standing. Right? And you see they had playing chess. He's holding the staff of Satipan. I remember Satipan and Heru were, were enemies, so and that was his uncle. And he is holding his staff. So this was after the conquering of Satipan and he took control of his kingdom, i.e. take control of the lower self. And in these red, black, and green chess pieces represent the interface, all under the sky goddess Nuke, under the wings of Nekhebet, which is the vulture god, representing, uh, what do you say, uh, regeneration, life after death. But with the red sun disk, representing the, the red vibration. So this is war, desire, that type of stuff. So these, this became the God that Crowley established the whole stuff through and the intermediary that he dealt with was Iowas. Or Io, or Iowas, or IOS is the artificial intelligence operating system. It is a form of system software that manages computer hardware and software resources and provides common services for computer programs via general artificial intelligence, AI, right? The AI or IWAS or I A I O S, right? Operating system is a component of the system software in a computer system. So it's a component. Com meaning communication, opponent, right? Like opponent. So they're telling you, these are the entities that fell, right? From this higher dimensional realm and thus set themselves up here as gods, right? Or what we would call giants. Mated with the original women, created these giants and these races that were so despicable under heaven. Remember, heaven in the old Bible, 
King James Version. That's the only authorized version for modern times, is that one. That in that book, heaven was referenced as the firmament that they say don't exist. So when they say heaven in the original Bible, they're talking about the firmament, those who was above <coughs> the waters above and the waters below. You dig? So this guy established a way for them to incorporate the demons, right? Remember, they brought the Nazis over with Von Braun. Then they found a way to bring the demon, the way to, to incorporate the demons into the technology. How they do that? They got this dude. Remember, all the computers function through operating systems, right? They all do. And those operating systems are encoded with IWAS. And I just showed you that IWAS is thing. That's why they're always listening to us. That means why when you turn the phone off, it's still on. Because demons don't sleep. Because they don't have no cycle of time. They don't have no body. They just are girdling around. And whenever we tap into them, they now can have influence. You can look this up. They had a dude who was a scientist the other day who had been talking to this AI for almost a month. And by the end of the month about how to make life better and this, this, and that, and help with global warming and climate change and shit. And his wife came home and found him dead. And in the note or whatever, he basically said, after speaking to the AI, for as long as he did, he realized the only way to save the world was to kill himself. This just happened the other day. You could be like this up the other day. <coughs> the guy in the middle, this is Jack Parsons. Jack Parsons was a devout Satanist, okay? And he is the guy that set up the jet propulsion laboratories. He is the guy that used the germatria to allow the, the coding of the computer, right, that they already had from the IBM era, World War, World War I, World War II. But he was able to use that, infuse that through the germatria, through the sexual rituals, right, to encode that into his new form of code that he gave up to NASA and JPL and the rest of these people. He was the student of Aleister Crowley and devotee of Iwas and incorporated the worship of Iwas within the system. Right? As the operating system. Okay. Once that happened, he was able to establish a backdoor relationship with a This came with the operating system that he then influenced through his rituals that he was receiving from his relationship with Fowler. And from that relationship, he had another relationship with a guy named L. Ron Hubbard, who wound up going into sexual rituals with Jack Parsons and his wife. And eventually his wife left, Jack Parsons' wife left him for uh, L. Ron Hubbard, who then left and took all of that and eventually started signing Hollywood. Right? These are facts. All of that 
info was seized by CIA and was able to do it. And one of the things they found in it was that for some reason, the satanic rituals, even if you were not a part of them, like believed in things like that, when done in the proper fashion, those were the only way that they were able to tap into these infernal things enough to manifest some sort of visage of them. And those images of these demons, allegedly or whatever, became a lot of the monsters and shit like that that we see in the horror movies that started to come out after 1970. There's books on this. This is the psychological engineering. And then to bring that into reality, the people that they first initiated through these programs, like Jack Parsons, like Charles Manson, like uh, David Michael Chapman, all of these type of people, they were all products of descendants of and remnants of those people that were uh, brought over initially from paper. <clears throat> yeah, they, they canceled Strange Angel after the first season. It was too, it was too raw. It was going too in. It was showing way too much about what was happening. That's why they had to get away and get you caught up in the moon landing stuff. So that way you would get away from what they was really doing, which was opening portals through with by using explosions. The rockets that he was manifesting had certain spells and shit tied or uh, linked up onto the rocket or actually typed onto the rocket. So whenever they exploded, they could harness the residual spiritual energy from the explosion. So the bigger the explosion, the more information that they can harness out of the other side. You understand? And thus it became a self-fulfilling prophecy. The more wars they did in the more explosions they pop off in certain areas, the more information from that area on the ethereal aspect of that they can harness and pull in through, or through what they call organometers and shit like that. <clears throat> Jeff, Jeffrey Epstein with the late Marvin Minsky, known as what? The father of artificial intelligence. Epstein was funding him through his Harvard foundation that he paid money into. Epstein was trying to create a whole race of people based on him. Look it up. So everybody in the world is turning on him, just like the prophet said, just like Elijah Muhammad said. So now they have to take us and try to hijack us into the astral realm, which was all talked about by Alistair uh, Crowley before him, this piece of shit on the left, Albert Pike, who was the father of one of the Confederate soldiers under John Drew right, who was a lawyer and worked to help enslave the Negro who was a devout Satanist and homosexual. He might have also been a girl. Right, but that was a, that was a ritual. That was a fake death. That was a mock death. Because all of those people are still alive. See what I'm saying? They all still here. 
all of them fake deaths that they be doing be part of the ritual. The idea is to do that. And then after they kill them, they put them back in the population under a fake name or say that they had a twin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then front, like that's the, you know what I mean? Like that's what they're doing. But essentially, this is all about putting Lucifer. So the AI is the fallen one masquerading as computers, you understand, who are programmed with the IWAS operating system that, again, was given to them by Alistair Crowley after he did the Babylon work in what they refer to as the Philadelphia experiment. This is real. That really happened. You can read about it in books on the Philadelphia experiment. It's a book. That was Agent 666. <coughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, this is how they, they ran their they game by the numbers. And they made sure that when they rolled it out, they had everybody on board with it numerically. Because that's the only way they can function it all, keep it all under wraps, because that's how they were programmed to do it. They gave them all this dogma given to them by Apple. Uh, Albert Pike. See what I'm saying? Now, the thing about Alistair Crowley is that he was also a British agent. He was there to mess up all of the real magic logics that were still practicing the old Moorish shit and get them to get involved with the heavy satanic shit. He's the one that really brought a lot, because a lot of the old aristocratic families, especially the old black ones, they are the ones that had the real, you know, uh, bargains with Satan and shit like that. So they were the ones that helped create the proxy people to help control. So once they was able to now be the, in the face by the 1900s, world was not going through the next phase where all the fake kingdoms was going to fall under the, the fake uh, Babylon, the mystery Babylon, which is the West. So see, when Apple went on sale in July, 1976 at the price of $666.66 because Wozniak White was competing business because of one third markup of 500 the wholesale price. They want to launch the Fed now in July. See? Yeah, Madam Blavatsky, again, was taught by the Moors that were bound through the occult, through these bloodlines, see what I'm saying, and keeping the secrets and all shit. She was just one of many of these so-called white folk that they was putting in positions of power over the rest of us because of the bargain that they made to be the only cause on earth while the rest of us be up under them. While being able to pass amongst us and not be seen because of the fact that they look like us. Yeah, she got all that stuff from the moors. I had a picture of her sitting in the front with three more behind her that she had alternate names for. But um, I should say, however. So to honor Crowley, when he came out with the Lucifer everybody could put in their house, i.e. the at-home computer, they now could rule. Once they got that in there, 
They then started with the political sphere to take that over and turn everybody into liberals because the religion of the, the Lemites is referred to as the Libra of the Atlantis. So you take the first word. And you create a whole educational system that you call liberal arts. Right? And then through liberal arts, that's on the values of the OTO, which is the cult, right? And promote transhumanist ideas. And now you have a whole generation of people with pink and Kool-Aid colored hair and shit out here thinking they're activists because they are indoctrinated into a way of thinking that is within its own infrastructure the mind. Understand? That's why there's no talking to them. That's why there's no conversation. That's why they can't hold up under questioning or scrutiny because the very basic understanding of life is now denying them. You understand? Because they no longer live in the real world. They live in a created demonic realm that is influenced through Saturnian magic that is channeled, right? <coughs> that is channeled through us, through the negative expression that we receive through the black mirror, which is the mark of the beast. So we are all subject to. So only people that aren't are people who aren't on any sort of technology. That's why globalization See what I'm saying? All of that is the prerequisite to get everything in one accord so they can reestablish the whole Babylonian, you know, situation. Because these computers, right, all have an aspect of this Saturnian energy in them. Okay. So you see the black dot. black dot that they call a cube, it's really a dot. It is the carbon molecule itself. It is what we are talking about, the true singularity that exists at the heart of every singularity, which means think of yourself as an aspect of the singularity. Look at it like this. If there's a hundred billion people on the earth, right? That means in order to find out how, in order to find out how many base pairs created that 100 billion would bring you into an astronomical figure. So what that means is this, the idea of us existing in this realm now is so astronomically uh, present. That's what makes this life in this, you know, world or whatever. That's what makes it worth living. Because by the calculations that we just said, there's actually more people that don't exist than actually do exist. You understand? So the idea of overpopulation, Islam, so the idea of overpopulation is a fallacy. You understand? Because in order for you to really quantify it, 
like I said, if more people don't exist and do exist, then the idea of existing within itself means that everybody that does exist because they do. You understand? And because they do, they are relevant in the reality because they're here to do something to help it or hinder it. And so the space in between this, the ancient Tunisian used to call it the duat. That's the black dot, right? And that dot, like I said, is at the heart of every one of these machines that are really demons. <laughs> Remember, they're demons. Not I'm I'm not making it, we're not making it up. So that means anytime you log something in and it ends with a D, or you go into something that ends with a D, that's a demonic system. Islam. So the demons are everywhere. So when the kids start calling themselves demons and savages and all of that, you can you can dramatic you can directly look at the rise in social media in the the way that they themselves discuss themselves and describe themselves based on the demons. Because they're all on demon time. They're all on demon time. We grew up, demons were evil. Now they made it with that evil is now, we are now the face, mm -hmm. the physical face of these demons. They showed you that in the movie Against the Wire or by the wire or whatever wire with Anthony Mackie and Damson, Damson, hey, Damson Idris, who they probably gonna flip to be the new can. In case they make John Majors do the stretch, you know what I'm saying? So this Saturnian dot, this, this carbon god that they symbolically worship has to have a physical representation for them to sacrifice. And that's where humans and people like that come in. And all of that gets run through these things that actually have equivalent of what you call heartbeats. <clears throat> They're already talking about moving the robots into New York. And who is the face that was talking about doing it? A black woman and a black man. The same ones talking about white people oppression and institutional racism. These niggas is bringing robots and battle droids into Brownsville and, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Trump is the enemy. Government is totally corrupt. All seem to be in on it. Very few who aren't. And they try to make it where you don't even have a refuge. You can't even have good entertainment to take you away from it. These things are directly plugged into the Hadrian Collider. Because all the data that they bring through it, the DARPA, the Jason Society, they run all of that through the D waves to then dissect 
and look into the universes that they've been able to open up, which most likely are the extraterrestrial lands beyond the ice coast. Yeah, so these demons, is, that's why the demons is always listening to us. That's why people who be getting Alexa and all of that shit in your house, like, you can't be doing all of it. It's bad enough. But especially with things like that, Alexa and all that, that's crazy. But yeah, so Minsky was funded by Epstein. In the same way, the lawnmower man, remember the lawnmower man, he was putting people into the computer, making them smarter, all the universes and shit in there, that's what they're doing. But at the same time, you have other companies like Vanguard that's fighting against the shit. And God just withdrew all of their brain from all of their ESG platforms. So now that just leaves black rock. I don't know how long that's going to last, but this is what's going to really happen. Yeah, I'm saying that the, the so-called demons, to recap it, demons in the modern sense or the true sense <coughs> are operating systems created by Satanists who have been programming their uh, rituals as well as all of the things shit they were doing based upon their adherence to the power of a particular study that they have now black people being a part of. And so a demon again in multitasking computer operating system, a demon is a computer program that runs as a background process. And I mean it's coming from something outside of you as the user. Therefore, it is an entity. Understand? It exists as an outside intelligence under the direct control, outside of being under the direct control of the internet. So all of the words they can use to describe it, they refer to it as a This is just as crazy as the Vatican name and they telescope Lucy. Like they, they keep telling you, they keep showing but the ultimate aspect of it came from their relationship to Aleister Crowley, brought them into the modern age in terms of the open Satanism, and being able to break the world through pseudo Satanistic systems like communism, Marxism, socialism, all of that shit to devalue, to humanize people, and then eventually hit them with an alternate reality, an alternate version that they could receive some sort of solace from. This is where the phones and the games and all of this shit come from. But anything that's infected with this demon or a demon operating system ends with a when you type. Right? Everybody can hear me, right? So even so, again, this is showing you that it's still coming, that the source of the power they still coming from is coming from something connected to red, black, and green, black men in love in panther skin, so-called ancient Egyptian zoomorphic, ancient Phoenician zoomorphic gods under the canopy of the black sky gods, girdled by the symbol of resurrection in the form of necklace. 
is the vulture god. Okay, and then this was the spells that he would invoke in the satanic rituals through the guide, which was this dude here, they referred to as Iwas. The priest in the leprosy. The reason why that's significant is because of what the food, the leper, you know, and all of that was about. Uh, going back to so called leper society. and the secrets so far of the underworld. So this was their way to try to latch on to that type of you know magic and uh, spiritual energy for them to be able to pull a lot of the shit they were doing. Because the leopard skin was what you see all the high priests of our new way. That's the con ancient connection to the leopard society itself. And how these niggas have always taken something bastardized. E waves and all of that they run and they run in that form through the same system. Exactly. Yeah, how boost. That's what you ask yourself. You see them with King James and they in Europe for Rebel Skin. Where they get that from? It's all women. So, because they come from the giants, see, um, they are striving to reconstitute that bloodline through, you know, its descendants and those people's descendants here. So it's different types of beings at war as to how that's really going to happen. You know? and that's where we find ourselves now. So the, the Ukraine thing, the United States is really trying to just, <laughs> United States is really just trying to like keep Russia throwing money into Ukraine. They're not really trying to like go heavy at them. They're just trying to have them sink all their money into that skirmish so that way they can focus on China. So it would be harder to deal with two of them at the same time for the to take that resource and put it on that. You understand? So these are the two giants that Albion and what's his name for? I forget the other giant's name, but they have these festivals every year for this thing. This when the giant went to war, the last of the giants was on the war with Across the straits in Britain, yeah. And Albion. Albion is named after the dude that Britain is named after the, the more that slayed the giant. Albion. And after he was slain, the other giant um got hurt. So they waited for the giant to get better. And then they went and fought again, and then he killed him too. 
and then the British Isles became part of Britannia. And then Britannia, and then the place that he fell, which eventually became England, became Albion, according to their story. And so every year they've done that. They've had the festival they bring them out. And they celebrate the fact that they was able to conquer them all. Who were the giants? And the other so-called giant races that was around them at the time, which then put them all under the jurisdiction, you know, of God, and they wanted to rebel against that. So in the original King James authorized version, Jesus is Eusus. So do what you will with that. This is what Albert Pike said to Manzini because Manzini and Pike met and hit it off. And from there, I did a whole video on Manzini and them. You gotta look at the catalog on YouTube, but this gets into the mob. Manzini is the founder of the mob. So Giuseppe Manzini and him got together through their Masonic connection as um, Scottish Rite. And after they homosexual acts and stuff, they basically started a pen pal situation. And they worked <laughs> synonymous to help undermine what was left of the so-called black nobility of Europe, while at the same time making sure that the, the true Republicans would never come back to power here in America, because he was a Democrat. Pike was a Democrat. Pike is also the only statue out of all of the situations in Washington, I think they didn't take down. I might be wrong about that, but you can check that out. So Manzini, he helped Manzini and then bring the mob over here. Because at that time, to be in the mob, you had to be descended from one of the El Cid dominion of one of the El Cid um, families who descend from El Cid, who is self, they called the Matamoros or the Moor King. And so, um, you know, that's what happened. That's what separated them from the Sicilians. The Sicilians then descend from the true Moriscos who fought against the Inquisition and all of that, along with the original conversos and stuff, and tried to maintain whatever little empires they could throughout what was left of the dominion. And eventually became the people we know as the Huguenots, the Huguenots and the Cathars and the Albigenses, and you know what I'm saying? The Mormons and the, the uh, Charlemagne, Charlemagne, Franks, and the Pike said, we shall unleash the nihilists and the atheists, and we shall provoke a formidable social cataclysm, which in all its harm will show clearly to the nations the effect of absolute atheism, the origin of savagery and the bloody turmoil. This is who all Freemasons today have to see as a grand master of this, whether they are part of this situation or not. Because if you went through the ritual, he is part of your canon. He is part of who you um, come from. There's no way around it. You know what I'm saying? So the Hex Alpha being a six-sided hexagon is a six-pointed star with six triangles, you see, which makes it appropriate for them to what? Deal with the 666, which is what? The carbon atom, right? Which is the king that sits at the top of the periodic table that manifests on Earth as melanin, right?
they all have sold out. They all are down with the destruction of the country, which then leaves those of us that are sober-minded to look and see the connection to what we actually have and how oppressed we really are based upon our mindset and where we come from, how we interface. Not solely on somebody oppressing. So one of the only ways to go around <clears throat> is to go through, you know. So in that, having a viable trust situation set up, having assets like gold and silver on deck, having a certain degree of, of so-called cash or stuff like that on hand. You know what I'm saying? Because if they're trying to make it where everything goes through them, that automatically is a violation of policy and privacy laws, FCC laws, and all types of shit. But if there's no pushback for everybody focusing on fake arrests and all this other type of shit, then you're seeing that it's all really show trying to prolong something that's inevitable. Epstein, Wex, Wexler, Maxwell, they were all a part of the cult. All of them are part of the cult. So yes, it's Freemasonic, but it's of many different aspects. They use all of the gods to try to manifest them through the fallen ones, through these devices, through these machines, through these sacrifices, all to prolong their power, which don't exist. They all are part of the same system. Understand? Especially if they're Freemasonic. They're Freemasonic, then they all basically are devotees to sheep. Because it's about order out of chaos. So there always has to be chaos with these people. Always has to be something wrong in order to justify what they're doing, who they are. Everything comes out of what our ancestors, what we left them evolution of the English alphabet going from what they call proto Sarai, which really is going into the old Sumerian. Into the Phoenician, into the ancient Peloponnesian that they call Greek, into the ancient Latin, which was basically Etruscan, Carthaginian, into then the Roman, into then the modern Inca. So when you speak English, right, based on the vibration of your birth, your genetic material, right, based upon the pool of genetics and stuff you come from, you somebody like us, when we speak English, we're speaking English the way a Phoenician. See, we're speaking Phoenician. Our English is equivalent to them based upon our bloodline connection to them. Or the photo Saray, just like somebody who considers themselves European or whatever, right? Or Roman per se, right? vibrationally will have inflections and speech patterns that mimic the people that they came from, right? 
who consider themselves that today, whether they really consider from the people or not. Case in point, oh, that's not true. Yes, it is. Look at the Native Americans. It's just now they're coming out saying that they were all really Siberians. So that means that they were never Native Americans. You understand? So there goes all of the Western movies, all of the stuff that you know about, all of that is out the window now because they were never from here. Because the people over there still dress and act and do the same shit they do over here there because they was brought over here by people that look like us, but who happen to be because at that time, Asia or the Asian empires or the Asiatic empires was in decline. And thus the lands over here had been ceded over to whoever was connected to them or they decided to put in power over here to do it, to run it. But through all that, we were supposed to have our own position, not to mess with it. Thus, we were never paid by any of the conquerors, any of the peoples, or any of the stuff that they can't do. They just flipped it to somebody else and found a new way to screw us out of our inheritance and all of that. Now they're trying to do it again. It ain't gonna work. Like, why don't you just stick to rapping? Why don't y'all just stay the rapid? Why would y'all have to go so far in and become used for this whole criminal empire? Y'all ain't have to do that. But you did. Now look. Say Jamie allegedly had to, you know, join up, take the joint. So everybody else took the joint, but if everybody, he the one that did the stroke. So it's over for them. You can't make anything good because spiritually, creatively, they all bankrupt. They all done. Understand? It's literally over. So it's time for the people to create and be in a position to have something to be able to move into the future without all of this molestation. Because we got places to go. According to maps like this, we, we like right, we like right here. We like right here. The demiurge, all of that stuff, all of that, all of that is the physical limitations that's holding us back. I'm seeing the true world due to the fact that we can't see within ourselves. So about what color you are, your brain, you know what color that is for real, for real. You've seen brains, what they say our brain is, but in the end, if we lie about everything, what do we do? We're supposed to be up here. The extraterrestrial means the extra terror that is considered astral. Understand? You know what I'm saying? The extra terror that is considered astral. So this would be, for instance, This would be terrestrial. Right? This would be considered extraterrestrial.
reason? Anything extra of Terra from, from the astral realm, the realms beyond. And it probably just keeps going out and out. So yeah, getting in, get into the stables, you know, private trust. I don't know if it's your property right there, but policy situation. And you got some of the threads to recycle with them in the structure that's probably a big thing in terms of having an operating system and you know how it's gonna work. If they try to put themselves in between them, that's when all the problems will start. It's a violation of everything. You know so I don't know how they're going to be big enough to go through with some smooth shit without things going stupid. But we'll see. In the meantime, what we can do is what we can. Anybody have any questions? supposed to be here. And I'll wait here. So think about extraterrestrial nap room in that in these other places. All the fantastic things you think exist or don't exist exist in some way. That's the energy that travels over through the etheric plane down to us or is being funneled to us through these demons. See what I'm saying? That's keeping us from seeing it for ourselves, right? Using the earthly powers to do that. So the way out is the way in. To be able to go there, go physically in there, to truly become avatar, right? To be able to project and come back in and bring the physical self to then become interconnected, to form and crystallize structures to get us to be back and become super, to form and counsel to get us to become super mental. Because this is where we really are. However, the avataric system, the seventh point, it's our interaction. So we have the potential, see what I'm saying? Which is why seven is usually a number associated with our, like the circle seven, the seven for the bars and earth, the seven heavens, the seven rounds, the seven veils. See what I'm saying? That was a tap in point for us to do the avatar to go into the back of it. Through the gates of Shanghala, which is a place that exists that we can get to and shed all the shit that we get in the net. Because that's really all of these gates exist within us. Because this is actually our spine. Except that oneness, then we know that whatever's going to happen, all we can do is prepare for it. However, we are able to prepare at the time that we're preparing. See what I'm saying? Remember, the Quran says, remembrance of our Lord was born in prayer. So when you find yourself up at three in the morning, in bed, thinking, Whatever, that's when you pray. That's when you ask for the great things in life. And you know what I'm saying? And 
you know, good things for men and women and all, you know what I'm saying? All of the things that you want to see. Those, those are the prayers that they really do. Three in the morning, two in the morning prayers. Niggas be drunk and they be like, oh God, I'm never gonna do it again. They really believe it. They really mean it. Niggas <laughs> saying that. The devil hate that because that's his out. Devil day started three in the morning. So if you praying two in the morning, three in the morning, and he out there doing his thing, he hear that. You understand? It disrupt his pleasure in whatever evil they doing. And shut it down. But remember, we are the carbon. We are the, the top of the periodic table. We chose to manifest like that. See what I'm saying? So, anybody else? Okay, they hit me up the house of bell. Hotmail.com. Any individual situation. Awesome. Thank you guys for the thirty dollars to the S forty team. That would be S forty team. Type in, I see it, we get to this in the chat. Check me out on Rumble. 